Hello, it's Victoria from Coastal Themes and in today's video, it's a super quick video teaching you how to implement exit intent pop-ups on your Framer site. So this is really great to re-engage users just as they're about to leave your site. So when their cursor moves off the screen, then this pop-up will appear. So we are using a great resource from Framer.today, which have so many resources for Framer, including custom code. So we will be dipping our toe into code overrides and code snippets on Framer. So it is important to note that for this tutorial, I'm not using a typical overlay pop-up. I have created a custom pop-up and that is just the way we have done it for this lesson. If you're interested in creating custom pop-ups, it just gives yourself a bit more flexibility. Although you do have to work a lot with like Z indexes and layers on the screen, this is placed in a fixed position. So it's not sitting within any stack. It's basically absolute on the page. So you can run into a few issues because you're breaking out of the normal overlay structure of things. So with that in mind, I'll show you how this is being constructed. So this is an exit intent pop-up. You can see it's a component. If I double click on that, it brings me to my variant. I have one variant, which is just an empty box. And then inside this, I have a stack with my text and a button. The button will link to the page or wherever I want it to go. And then what's important is this X, our exit icon, which the user can click on. And I have created an interaction on click. When the user clicks on this, it will take them to a second variant or display the second variant, which is basically just a zero opacity version of variant one. So it's super easy to create yourself, but we can dive into this in another video. With that in mind, I'm going to show you how to apply our exit intent code. So let's reopen this. You can see Framer.today has created this custom code. They don't show you here, but once you hit copy, it is copied to your clipboard. And then it gives you a few notes on how to apply this. So there's two settings. So there's the exit intent effect and there's the dismissing your overlay effect but we've already done that using our cross to exit trigger so we will come back to framer we'll hop over to assets i already have this code in but i will add it again so hit the plus icon on code we'll call it exit intent to click new override hit create and you can see Framer gives you some example code when you create new overrides. So we are going to delete this and all you have to do is paste the code you copied to your clipboard. So it's quite long, a lot of JavaScript going on. And this is why we love this resource because you can just simply paste it in. You don't need to know how to code yourself. It uses React. It, it just gets everything done for you, which is lovely. So now we have exit intent two as a code file sitting in our assets panel. So I'll go back to our home, click on my component here. And at the bottom, you can see there are code overrides. So I'll remove that and add it again. So you click plus, you select the file. So exit intent two is the one I just added. And then you select your override and you can see these are the ones they've specifically referred to in the resource page. So if I reopen that, you can see you can apply with window leave overlay to your modal and with dismiss overlay to any component that you want to use as a close button. So we are going to set with window leave overlay, which means that when the user's cursor leaves the window, the overlay will appear. And then I have my exit cross there already. So now if I hit publish, and I copy this and open Chrome. I'm going to open an incognito window. I'm going to paste this in and hopefully if I refresh that and take my cursor off the screen, you will see that the pop-up appeared and I can press the X and it will disappear. 
perfect. Refresh this page and hover off, and there you have it an exit intent pop-up. Super, super easy to add. If you have any questions regarding pop-ups, regarding creating custom pop-ups or regarding exit intent pop-ups, please drop a comment below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. And yeah, that's it. So easy and super, super handy going forward. Please remember to subscribe to our channel if you're after more Framer and Ghost tutorials and don't forget to check out our Framer and Ghost themes available to purchase on our website. Bye!